everybody so back in video 1831 I was asked to look at these things this is a toroidal propeller it started its life as far as I can work out in the world of boats where this little loop here is supposed to reduce cavitation and therefore improve efficiency and therefore decrease the amount of fuel you burnt some person had the bright idea of turning them that way after all a boat propeller is a thrust application and if we stick that on a drone well it's a thrust application and use them as a drone and rumour is they're uh, quieter and more efficient although I've heard exactly the opposite about them. In terms of their ability to function as a propeller I really I really don't care hey it's of no interest to me but I was asked how do I think they will do as a um, generator blade because a generator blade and a propeller blade are very similar and of course that's the blade from a generator and you'll notice it has the same swept area so I rather quickly and rudely did a rough comparison of the two and this left a lot of people extremely unhappy and the reason I did a rough comparison is because uh, when I look at that I don't think there's going to be that much in the way of a significant difference and to be honest significant differences show up very rapidly indeed if you bolt this to a motor like that for instance the motor has its own torque its own internal resistance and the only thing that's going to vary on that is speed and therefore output voltage so a quick look at the output voltage will give you an idea if there's going to be anything significant or not because if it's super significant you're going to see it immediately and that, that really upset a lot of folk and I thought well that's a fair comment because really my prejudices about this are, are what we're showing for me it's got the same swept area it's got a blade design I doubt very much that does jack so you know let's have a quick look and see if it does and it didn't so I could just be displaying my prejudices and not being one to be too like that, I thought, well, it's worth a better go at it. Particularly because a friend of mine sent me this one. This is a four-bladed toroidal propeller of much larger dimensions. So I've bolted it to a NEMA stepper motor and I've rectified that output and put it in series. So what we've got there is a propeller and a generator. Now, the propeller has a certain size, obviously, it's 13 and a half centimetres blade size. If I put that in a wind speed, it's going to generate a torque. That torque will turn this motor and this motor should start generating something. Now, everybody but everybody moans at me when I don't do this properly. So I'm supposed to put it on a fixed load. So, you know, 100 ohms or so. Spin it at a fixed speed and measure directly the voltages and amps at the same time. Well... What I've got here is a BK Precision 8500. It's a programmable electronic load that does exactly that. I've set it at 100 ohms with its programmable resistance and we'll be able to read the voltage and the amps at the same time when we put some wind in this. We'll put some wind in it, we'll read those voltages, and that will give us the power that's generated under that load, give it that given wind speed. And if this is any good, then that should do wonders. So I tell you what, let's zoom in on this and give this a go. Okay, so I've got this turned on, let's give it a go. And we should be reading something on that meter. What are we reading, Luke? Uh, 0 0.4, 0 I see 0 0.5 volts at around... 0, 0 0.5, so half a volt. Half a volt at around 0 0.007. So about 7 milliamps. <laughs> that is not the most impressive, is it? And you can see how far away we are. So I'm going to measure that wind speed in a second. So let's measure the wind speed about here. In fact, it's just measure it there because it goes down the further we get so let's give it every advantage we possibly can three meters per second so what does that give us at 100 ohm low we've got about 3.6 milliwatts as the output for a 13 and a half centimetre blade in a three metre per second wind. And that is not that impressive. What you should expect is somewhere in the region of, oh, I don't know, uh, 200, 230 milliwatts, something like that. Of course, everybody's going to say, but what about this? This bit of rumber is 85% efficient. And of course, all wind turbines have to be output on a generator and they're 85% efficient on a the generator is pretty good. 
Even so, I would say that that is not right home kind of stuff. Eh? It, it's okay. But I get a suspicion that the big thing about these things is they look cute. They look like they should do something. It turns out they don't, and it's no real surprise because, you know, the, the swept area is the swept area. The energy in the wind is the energy in the wind. So looking like you're going to do something and doing something seem to be two different jobs altogether because, as I said before, I know nothing about them as propellers and I don't really care, but as wind turbine generators, I don't think they've got anything really above a, a standard wind turbine blade. I didn't think that was particularly great. Anyway, I thought it was fair to revisit it because I, I, I agree I didn't do a particularly fair job and I was perhaps being a bit, I don't know, prejudiced against them. But it seems, for me anyway, that my prejudice is well founded that this actually just doesn't, with all the best will in the world, perform any better than any other wind turbine and to be honest it looks like it performs worse anyway i hope you enjoyed that follow-up thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe